being at 6 p.m., I now call this meeting for the town of Genoa order. Uh, start with the roll call. Barbie Morgan is not present. Teresa Walker. Here. Robert Gillio. Here. Kyle Lawson is present. There's three acting members of the board. I declare we have a quorum. Teresa, do you want to open us with an invitation? Thanking you for the opportunity, Lord God, to come into your presence, for the opportunity, Lord God, to be able to conduct this the portion of business that needs to be done here tonight. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you would just be in the midst, open up our hearts, our understanding, your will and your way. Lead us, guide us, and direct us in the way that you would have us go. And we'll be ever so careful to give you all the praise because you are holy and righteous. And we just thank you. Done with the minutes? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I move we accept the minutes as written. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carried. over the treasurer's report uh, doing item number four discussion approval disapproval of executive session concerning the fire department personnel administration like administrative administrative structure of the gene Autry volunteer fire department is there any discussion from the town council oh i think we need to go on executive session for okay before we do that is there any discussion from the floor Item number four, discussion, uh, disapproval of executive session concerning the fire department. I asked the town council if there's any discussion. There's no discussion from the town council. Other than Robert Gillio suggests we go into executive session. Is there any discussion from the floor concerning the volunteer fire department? Is everybody aware of uh, the goings on recently? Okay. No, 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 no,
kind of I know my recommendation ain't much but um, over here but I think it'd be a good one to put in place as a either right now interim fire chief or fire chief where do you live at I live, uh, just off of Maxwell there in Ardmore okay I'm roughly 8 to 12 minutes from the station Here, but it's kind of rough. No, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we have a motion to go in executive session? I move to go in executive session. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, whatever happened when Captain put me on the committee? Did I just go when he went? I have no idea. <laughs> well, he had me set the table with him a couple times and, uh, had, you know, yeah. brought me in for stuff, but I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was okay. You guys or them or just what? But. Okay. We'll give us a few minutes and we'll wait sure. in a second. Sorry. Sure. I wish I could leave with lead, but <laughs> well, that's what I thought. Yeah. Kelly, <laughs> <Tell me. laughs> come out. Um, not really I because you have to keep the minutes. No. Well, you don't keep no minutes, There's but no minutes. but you know you know. It's I think it's up to the board, but you. Since uh, you other board meetings uh, I've been to, under the clerk was in there. <laughs> Huh? I was thinking the three of us could just leave. Okay, so in front of you have my recommendation. Are there any questions? <sighs> Is it impossible to find someone who's who, who's you know, local or, or, you know, the stipulation that, you know, they've got to move out here within reasonable distance. He's honestly been looking since I've taken over. Because I know back whenever I first got elected, he was asking where there were places to live out here. I will, I mean, that's in all honesty. I never knew that he wanted to be fire chief until this happened. And he came to me and said, hey, you know that I have more experience than Kevin ever had. I've been on the volunteer fire department a lot longer than Kevin ever was. Um, I think maybe, because Joe David said the same thing, that we really need a fire chief that lives in the district, um, but maybe under the, cir under the special circumstances that he finds an assistant chief that absolutely has to live within the fire district. I didn't. I, we don't even honestly know the answer to that. Um, the only thing we can think of is a couple, three weeks ago. At the last meeting. You know, a month ago. You know, you remember when he come in here and he asked to be what a what is it? He wants title eighteen. Title eighteen instead of title eleven. Okay. Am I clear? Okay. Do you recall that meeting? Yeah. I recall that meeting. Yeah. Okay. Then at the last meeting when we had them here, correct me if I'm wrong, but he informed the board he wasn't aware of it. That we approved that. That they hadn't done any of the steps necessary to become a Title 18. So that means all this time that they were still supposed to be under our, I guess, financial operations, supervision, whatever it is we are supposed to do when they are on Title 11. Okay? Then, they got overdrafted on an account. And we got to looking, and there was a thousand something dollars that paid for something that should not have come out of that account. And they were informed that they had to pay it back to that account. That's 
I guess what triggered it. If they returned whatever, it was tactical lights, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Did they return those to the fire department? I don't know. That's, I think, part of the... Um, well, I mean, if it was paid for funds from the fire department, as far as I'm concerned, it's the property of the fire department. Doesn't matter which account it came out of. Oh, this should be required. Accurate account for all equipment. Yeah, Kevin just showed up in my office in town and brought me all the checkbooks and his keys and said he quit. And then the next day, I told Stephen, I said, hey, you and I need to get together over coffee and talk about this. And he texted me that evening and said he quit, and then three other guys quit with him. So I wasn't there with this guy, Jerry, but at least, you know, he is, we're going to get Scott some of the time. He what? Jim Bagley. Oh. He's like the waste management. What was that? Training he went to the town for the top. And we have him listed as. He went to Jim Bagley and said, What does this do to you? Um, like, he's your assistant? No, Stephen McCord's the assistant. I don't know what Jim was. Jim, he had some title. He came to a meeting earlier last year. He did. Yeah, he did. And, and waste management, or he, he, some yeah, he mentioned something. That he, yeah. And then he went for some training. Possibly that. Uh, so anyway, aside from the reasoning going forward, um, I personally am recommending Justin. Uh, Joe David kind of Joe David McReynolds agrees that Justin would be good for it. Um, but under the circumstances that it will be a 90-day interim position, what I'm recommending that I would like to see before we appoint him as the official fire chief is there be a mutual aid agreement with the Ardmore Fire Park. That's an absolute must. Ardmore Air Park? Yeah, the Ardmore Air Park Fire Department. That's going to save homeowners on their insurance. The Springer Fire Department and the Dixon Fire Department, along with good working relationships with, the fault, with all those departments. Rectifying rectifying the accounts, working with Talene Russian to ensure proper accounts pay the appropriate bills. And that includes reconciling past accounts. Um, create, create a fair recruitment process for incoming volunteers. Ensure all team members have and sign the policy and procedure handbook for the town. Talene, do you have that? The policy procedure handbook for the town. Donuts next meeting. Uh, huh? Phone goes off during the meeting. If buy donuts, bring them to the next meeting. Yeah, we have a handbook. I just don't remember what it's at. It might be in the. It might be in the. It might be in the town of Genotri's actual email because I emailed it to there, so we have a digital copy of it. But we voted on that. What handbook? The policy and procedure handbook we created last oh, year. I, remember, yeah. um, I think that was before you started telling yeah. uh, Work with. Me, yeah, I think I emailed it myself to the town. Um, work with the bank to rectify signature cards, meaning that whatever officers he appoints need to make sure they're signers on the accounts. Build a working relationship with the town clerk to help maintain proper policy and procedures. For the department, um, I don't think Kevin Kelly had a very good working relationship because I don't think Kevin. I mean, nothing personal. I just think that's just how he is. He'd rather do things on his own. I'd rather see them work together. Um, attend all town council meetings. Appointed assistant chief when una unable to attend. Uh, under that, I added Robert's suggestion under the understanding that the assistant chief be from our fire district specifically. Um, because Justin isn't his time, but he's wanting to move to the fire district. Uh, verify insurance on all vehicles, and I added on there an account, an accurate record, an accurate account for all equipment and an inventory. And eight, open communication with the town administration and the fire department. With submitted lists for candidates for the department and copies of their records submitted for final approval before responding to calls and operating our equipment. Meaning that if they recruit somebody, they have to go through the training process before they even touch the fire truck. Um, and while they're doing that, they need to submit to us 
copies of all their records of their training to be filed with Colleen so we know that we have people who are trained instead of, we didn't have anything recently that was an issue, but previously we had somebody that had never touched the fire truck that just jumped on one and took off and went to the call. Um, and we want to make sure that they go through. Since we've been here? Yeah. I was, that's one of the ones that left a long time ago. Okay. Say, I didn't know about that yeah. recently. That was last year. Is he going to be on whoever we appoint, be an interim, or are they going to be on the board? They're not actually on the board, but they have to be at the meetings. Okay. Well, I think that that should be stressed to them very much because the only time he came to meeting was when he wanted something. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the um, and, uh, build a relationship with uh, the open communication with the town administration and, and the attend all town council meetings. And if he can't make it, the assistant chief needs to be here. You know, I, I don't I don't think it would be a bad idea if they're going to remain Title 11 that, you know. Well, the issue, the issue is, is it wasn't just as easy as voting for us for them to become. I understand. Because the town owns the building, the town owns the land, and the town owns all the trucks. Right. And the county owns the other half of the trucks. I think, which, you know, I had inquired of him, you know, when are you going to have a meeting? Let me know when you're going to have a meeting. I'd like to come to one of the meetings and see what y'all got going on. You know, they may think that that's being nosy, looking over their shoulders or whatever. But if they're going to be a Title 11, and we are, as per se, in some sense or another, going to be financially and liability responsible for them in any way, then I think that we have the right to be there. Yeah. Period. So, you know, I think that, you know, they should let us know when they're having their meetings. And you know, I don't mind going there. And I can't say that I go every month, but I don't mind going there several times a year. And there may be things they raise during the meeting that can be, you know, that, that they forget about. That, you know, call Kelly and say, hey, we need to put on, you know, we need to get this, we need to get that for them. Put it on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. So do we want to go ahead and at this time appoint Justin as our interim fire chief? I think so, but I think, yeah, you know, I, I, I think give him a year to move out here. If he's not living here at the end of the year, then I think we ought to evaluate a few things. Well, I mean, I personally am okay with as long as the assistant chief is from the district under these circumstances, just because Justin's been on the fire department, I think, for 10 years. Well, I understand that, but, you know, other people have had concerns about that. Yeah. And well, that's why I'm, and Joe David said the same thing. He, he wants to see somebody from the district. Um, but at this time, we don't have anybody that has the property. Well, something. if he's been coming out here and doing everything like that, been responding good after a year's time, then I have no problem with continuing him as fire chief. Okay. So we'll but if he's going to be reevaluated, though, and simply, see. Just simply evaluate how it's working out with him living in Ardmore and being the chief. So that's if it's not working out, then we need to do something. So basically, we just need to have an annual evaluation of the fire department. That's not a bad idea. Huh? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay. What are you doing calling me? See, we have this rule. If the phone rings while we're in the meeting, we have to buy donuts. Bring it next meeting. So, so, now we have to buy donuts. So I done got her, her phone done rang. She got to buy them. Then you, you know. My phone was ringing because he was telling me to walk around front, though. Oh, okay. Because I messaged and said, hey, I'm locked out. Well, you were the last person to the door, so you locked them out. You know, I came the other way. Excuses, yep, yep, excuses. Yep. Okay. Was it over there? Mm -hmm. I think that. So, it is my recommendation to the town council of the town of Gene Autry that we nominate Justin Johnson to the position of. Can you come out of executive session yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. How move we come out of executive session? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Sorry. Aye. I have a motion carried. Thank you, Joe David. <laughs> Um, it is my recommendation to the town council for the town of Genotry that we nominate Justin Johnson to the position of interim fire chief for the Genotry Volunteer Fire Department. Upon completion of the following items within 90 days, we will install Justin as the official fire chief. Um, extensions under extreme circumstances 
and providing a year, an annual evaluation for the position. Uh, one, mutual aid agreements with the Ardmore Air Park Fire Department, Springer Fire Department, and Dixon Fire Department, along with good working relationships with each department. Rectify accounts, working with Cali and Rushing to ensure proper accounts pay the appropriate bills. Create a fair recruitment process for incoming volunteers, ensure all team members have and sign the policy and procedure handbook for the town. Uh, work with the bank to rectify signature cards under the new administration for the fire department. Build a working relationship with the town clerk to help maintain proper policies and procedures for the department. Attend all town council meetings uh, and uh, when unable to attend, the assistant chief will attend in your position uh, under the understanding that Justin doesn't live in the fire, in the Geometry Fire District, we are asking that it be required that the assistant chief be from the Geometry Fire District. Verify insurance on all vehicles and an accurate account for all equipment and an inventory of all equipment in the Geometry Volunteer Fire Station. Open communication with the town administration and the fire department with submitted lists of new candidates for the department and copies of their records to be submitted to the town clerk for final approval by the town council. Uh, Before Oh, before the new candidates respond to calls and are submitted or are issued equipment. Any questions, comments, concerns? I have a comment about that. I was wanting to know if I could assemble my own board for that. That would be interesting. Let commissioners vote them in. Um, and let them do most of the paperwork stuff. It's not like I, you know, I work at Michelin. So I think my assistant chief, he can be here most of the time probably. But yeah. The issue is, is if we change and leave from Title 11, um, the town owns all the vehicles and the building and the land, and that's a whole different process. We can go down that road, but for the time being, being that we're still a Title 11, this is how we're going to operate um, in the absence of an administration. If that's the direction the fire department wants to go, we can discuss that at a later time. Okay. But right now, because it's still under the town, this is how we're going to proceed. Okay. But that is that is an option. Um, we just have to work in that direction. Is that, am I correct in that? Well, the county still owns, owns a bunch of the yeah. equipment in there that don't belong to, you know, y'all still have some of it. Yeah, some of the trucks. Some Most of, of it is of them county. belongs to the county that's leased out to Genotry Fire Department. Yes, sir. Edge Farm, don't y'all have a yeah, I'm just listening. <laughs> but I'm asking, don't you have? I mean, I thought it's Springer. They have like a, a president of something, a secretary or something, 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 and it's under the town also. I mean, we don't, you know. Basically, it is. Is, is that what you're, what he's talking about, Dylan? Starting out with yes, and then possibly in the next few years, take that to the house, uh, eighteen or nineteen. They go eighteen or nineteen. They'll have to have a board other than. The town council board that would be over the fire department, and the fire chief could not be on that board. Okay, 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 I got you. Okay, I move to uh, point Justin. I second. As per everything that's on this and what we added. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it, motion carried. Right. <coughs> okay, you did item number six, Kelly. Starting with your check register there on the on the uh, and the balance last month was $11,919.83 in the general fund. The payments, check number 479, the comfort suite, the 397.68. That's, gonna, that's for uh, the attendance at the mayor's conference in Idabel, Oklahoma in July. OML, check number 480 for $50, that's for... Uh, Registration at the All of it should be wrapped in order for you. To back up to the invoices and everything. The next payment is 
$25 at the Jody Douglas CPA, and that is for uh, the filing, the prepare and file quarterly payroll report. Then you have $30 to Sherry Kendrick, that's for the cleaning of the office. $280 to Sherry Kendrick, that's for the mowing during the month of August. And I know it looks like it needs to be mowed right now again, but that's because we've had so much rain. And the last time she mowed was the 21st. So she's scheduled to mow again this week. How much does mowing pay? Pardon? How much does mowing pay? $280. That's a mode. That's a large way to the city. Right. No, I've mowed it. The museum, the town area, the city citizens. Uh, 1,040 contract. There's payments to many for the monthly contract. 350. The next one is uh, $358 to double fee. That's for the attendance at. And your copy of that is at the very back of your page. That's uh, to attend the mayor's conference that's going to be in, da in Dallas, September 12th and 13th. And it's kind of, I've got the check written there. You're going to vote on it later on whether or not you want it. But we've already paid it. I just wrote the check up because it has to be paid before you attend it. We just only do the check payments. We try to do them that once a month at the end of the month. To do it ahead of time. Write the check up ahead of time. You don't want to do it anymore. Approve it. The check will pile for it. Then uh, there's a check for $619.52 for Green Mountain of the Historical Society. That's the six month payment on the copy that we need to pay down the six months. Then check number 487 to OMAG. For three hundred thirty-four fifty-eight, that's the monthly payment for the property insurance. Then the rest, uh, you got your interest earned, your, your city sales tax receipts, your city use tax receipts, your city cigar tax receipt for the month, and then a deposit twenty-eight oh two deposit from the Carter County for one fifty-two twenty-eight. The OGE bill fifty-eight ninety-seven and 188.11 and so then you see two, two graphs of $30 one for here and one for over at the gym and they went out this month so it's $30 and then it's on telephone 172.68 and that one's a little higher than usual because we had a service charge because uh, the museum phones didn't work and they had to come yeah, out and check it when the line and the last entry is a deposit uh, on 2061, and that is for, that's from the uh, Carter County for the month of August that I included on there. You should have two more sheets behind that. That's a general fund. That's your online printout from the uh, reconciling both of them to each other. Leaving a balance of eleven thousand four twenty seven forty eight in the account. Is that everything? I move we accept the uh, financial report there, Colleen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. We oppose this treasurer's report. Hmm? I thought she said I. Think I. So. I think it's second. Oh, okay. I, I said opposed, and you said I. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm at the same time, I said you said it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All opposed. The ayes have it. Motion carried. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, correspondence. I don't have anything at this time. Um, Justin, I know you got some stuff about one of the trucks. I got something about two trucks. I've got a fuel line I got to replace. Fuel fill line. It's uh, about four to six inches too short. I'm gonna have to get one of those. I'm probably gonna go purchase three batteries for the engine. And they run about 300 and some of these. Is the engine can? Yes. We can get that paid through the fire path. Okay, so I went in there the other day to try to start the truck and the engine, the batteries were broken. They get here on the same boat. So. See what you need to blow and then cut the peg out of it. Okay. So you still need the fuel line? Yeah, which I can replace it. All I can do is go to auto zone and buy one. Is there anything else? I'm pretty easy. It's all, I mean, like I said, I'm trying to, but I'm trying to yeah. message you all week with everything. Yeah. I don't know. I got a few questions on the fire department over there. Do y'all know if, is the building insured at this time? Yes. What about the truck? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I need mean, Make sure that was taken care of. Yeah. Right. Soft questions I ask. Okay. <laughs> Any correspondence from you three? Mm -hmm. Is there anything we need to do to prove them getting that line? Line. The fuel, fuel line. line. Uh, isn't that from the county truck? The no, fuel line's not that truck that Kevin built. Okay. No, we don't have to. Okay. Do you guys have access to your? No. Okay. Um, That's part of. Um, <coughs> going to the bank and getting the cars and all that. Yeah, they're going to need a copy of tonight's minutes, and then they're going to have to have a meeting as soon as possible and write their own minutes because one account's under the town's EIN number and then one account's under the volunteer department. So they'll have to have the minutes from us and the minutes from their own meeting to change the signature card. Was there any more correspondence from you, Kelly? Okay. Uh, agenda item number eight: discussion approval for room registration, travel expenses to attend the mayor's conference. Um, did you make a reservation in Dallas? Yes. Is it not in Dallas? No, it's in Tulsa. It's the Oklahoma Mayor's Conference. <laughs> That's why I was wondering why that room was so expensive. <laughs> That's why I was wondering, what's that say Tulsa in the Southern Dills? <laughs> yeah, it's in Tulsa. Is this a nationwide? No, it's the State of Oklahoma's conference with all the vendors. So this is a misprint on here where she says Texas. It's actually in yes. Tulsa. Yeah, that's why it's Tulsa, Oklahoma. So it's in Tulsa, it's not in, Dallas. It's in Dallas. <laughs> no, it's. I, but I call it in It's Dallas. downtown okay. Tulsa. <laughs> I think it might have been on some drugs when I talked to you. <laughs> legal. Legal. What are you saying? Move on, sir. Yeah. I'm writing it down over here. Uh, that's what I said. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. I think we have evidence of the truth of that. Okay. Um, I don't know what the rate is in Tulsa, but it's going to be a lot less than that. Um, so 400 would probably be the most for travel expenses in a room. Okay, I move we approve. $400 for the travel expenses and room for the OML conference in Tulsa Merge Conference. Second. 
Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have a motion carried. Was it in a text? <laughs> Did I say Dallas? <laughs> Did I really? <laughs> I wasn't on drugs when I sent that text message. Dallas <laughs> North. Oh, okay. Far North Dallas. Okay, agenda item number nine discussion approval to uh, participate in the Ardmore Main Street Parade of Lights November 28th. Same one we went to a yep. couple years ago, wasn't it? Last yeah. Two years. Yep. Yep. Still the banners. They didn't have a date on yep. them. Still got the banners. Okay. Here's your, your letter. Have you all been to it? I've been to it. Yeah. It's not a bad a, it's, you know, they, People dress up in lights and things. And yeah, we went last year because he had the little candy canes or whatever. I did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did. Oh, that's right. Well, I think we should participate. Mm -hmm. We can even dress him up as Santa Claus. So. Uh, I think you look a little more like Santa than me. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get the old engine painted down the hill, put you on top of it, Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a hard, hard pass. Hard pass. I think Joe David would be happy to do that for us. Was there anything from you, Leslie, on that event? The parade of lights. Yeah. You got the real Santa right over here. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be nice if we can get the some of the riders from the uh, riding club again. But okay. okay. I still got all the lights. We just need more batteries. If anybody finds a really good bargain on C batteries, buy 80 of them. Wish.com. Wish.com. Thank you. All right, well, I move we participate. We have a second. <laughs> what are we, when we say participate? We go down there, uh, you know, we go. We, we have, participate. We, we in, in the past, you know, we've had a trailer down there, and, you know, we'll have hay bales on it, maybe some decorations, this and that. Town pays for the gas. You know. Uh, yeah. pays the expenses. Candy. You know, we have lights and things like that on us that we wrap around. <laughs> Kids from the community go with us, you know. Some of us walk, some of us ride the wagon. Me, I always walk. I need the exercise. So, so this is downtown and not at the parade of lights. Yeah, yeah. downtown Ardmore. Yeah. It's the tree lighting ceremony. So are we doing a flow? Is that what we're yeah, what we did two years ago. We didn't do it last year. Though. Yeah, we had a little, you know, somebody's flatbed trailer, and we had like, you know, Some a snowman, wasn't it? Hey, Bell. Uh, still hot cocoa all over ourselves. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Oh, Nothing elaborate. Yeah. Nothing elaborate. Well, you see what happens was everybody knows me, knows I go to Blue River the week of Thanksgiving. So, uh -oh. y'all have fun with that. We still need a second. Do we have a second? <laughs> oh, I'll second you doing it all day long. Don't bother me. <laughs> a second. Okay. All those in favor of participating in the Ardmore Main Street Parade of Lights? Aye. Aye. Uh, all, those, going. all those opposed? Ayes have it, motion carried. Um, number 11 or 10, <laughs> um, I think we need a table and have John Odie and Jody Douglas here. Well, I agree, but are we going to abstain from... <laughs> yeah, yeah, until we hear from uh, Pat Ombi and the Attorney General. How long are we going to wait on that? Until next month. So, because, I mean, I talked about him and he said he was going to send him a letter, so. Okay, so you're going to continue in your role regardless without yeah. compensation. Okay. I'll leave it that for the time being. Okay. We do need to discuss it and make it official. All right. 
Motion to table. I move we table. Item number ten. ten. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. We have a motion to adjourn. Item number eleven. Second. A second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carried. How many firefighters is there in the United States? I know they're safe. I do love the work of that company.